everybody. All right, back to the feed lot. Adding our liquid syrup. Our, uh, my overhead dill snapped off in the wind several months back and I haven't bothered to fix it yet. It's, uh, it's not the top priority. So, but yeah, this is, this is our uh, the wagon I bought back this summer. And I mainly use this for feeding cows, but when it's just me, uh, when it's just me, all the outside loads that aren't right here at the pins, I just use this wagon because I cut my feed time down. I cut my feed time down quite a bit. Uh, I can put two loads into one load and makes a makes it kind of nice but just a big kirby uh wagon with a, a supreme discharge on it so i had had him put that chain conveyor on it so i could get uh into all the feed bunks and everything uh, it was just a straight conveyor, you know, for dairies. So they're feeding on the concrete slabs. But, yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. Not, not a whole lot going on. I made a video the other day about the whole capital deal, and, and I just, just never posted it. So, thought I'd touch base with you and uh, the feed feedlot's coming along that project's coming along but we are about to about to set our uh, holes for the barn uh, I don't know I planned on doing that this coming week but we're getting to the point where baby appointments are probably getting ready to be once a week and yeah, it's two hours just for us just to go, so one way. So it takes a full day. And uh, time to start marketing and moving a lot of calves. So yeah, it's it's getting kind of busy. I don't know when exactly we'll get to it. Uh, we're also getting to the point where everything's starting to kind of break. We're using the gas pump. Because our other one's kind of worn out, so uh, lots of pins, we're having to work on pins and stuff like that, so we're staying busy doing that kind of stuff. Uh, it's eating up a lot of the time, but anyways, just thought I'd kind of give you a little shot. This is the last thing i got to add in to the ration today, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you a little later as I'm feeding it out. So, this is going to be the first pasture. And our calves are starting to rub our wire. And I've got calves out every day now. Multiple calves. So. Starting to, starting to scratch. Probably starting to get some lice. Uh, happens this time of year um, it's just part part of where we live my wife was uh, I, I was telling her about it she's like well sounds like you better uh, get them in and and uh, pour them then yeah I, having the time to get all these kids in and pour them all uh, but that I mean that's kind of the best way to handle that Unless these guys are getting ready to go somewhere else anyway, so whoever buys them is going to do it. 
But yeah, it's just kind of an inconvenient problem. They start working on the wire and then they find their feet across the fence. And yeah, so anyways, um, just getting ready to feed these guys and this tractor and wagon have turned out to be a pretty nice combination for this. Um, there's like three or four different owners of Kevs in here. Like they're all, they're either mine, my dad's, my mom's, or partnership, or or then there's mine and my wife's Kevs in here. So there's quite a few di different ones. That's why you got different colors and different color tags and, and uh, that's what all that's about. But if you ever get to wondering about that, downshift to about first gear. Um, yeah, but th this still kind of, it's been working out pretty good. Uh, like, it's not as nice as the truck, but it's, Let's see if I can do this. Without running into a trough, running any calves over and steer with my my knee uh, but yeah it's these guys are doing good uh, the thing that we're running into right now is feed prices are just going through the roof uh, they're just and like uh, it's getting really expensive you know flake corn delivered is 676 a bushel what I figured it out to be dried distillers are $300 a ton uh it's it's just getting getting out of sight you know uh hay is getting up to that 200 mark uh 150 and up and so that's that's kind of the thing i have this concrete bunk out here and i don't like to feed much into it because they just all these calves they start standing in it and, and uh making a big old mess i'll pack it in and so they don't eat much out of it. I don't like, I don't like feeding them after a while at some point, because then they just, they start making a mess out of it. I try not to feed them very much in there. My hired guy just feeds them, you know. But these big troughs are a lot better deal. I don't know if you guys can, I'm trying to make this where you can see it. Um, but yeah, so now that feed has just gone through the roof, now it's a, a concern of uh, our cost of gain has gone way up and the cattle pricing has not followed that. So now it's, uh, do we need to market these cattle sooner? How do we need to market it? Where's a, where's a good weight? to make sure that we're still profitable and we don't just start feeding up our profit um, here with the government that that's not there that's a, a replica so yeah that's that's kind of what's going on I, I like feeding these tires uh, I haven't had a chance to cut the top out um, but that that's another thing like these tires it's it's better with cows like there's there's things I find that um, yeah there we go it's a, it's a lot better with cows to eat out of than it is calves calves are just picky about everything they do and they get they get spoiled but so that's kind of where we're at um, I got a calf running down the road because he's on the wrong side of the fence. So that's always fun. But they get out and then they want to come back in and eat and then they can't find the spot that they went through. So it's always a mess. But um, anyways, uh, not to try to keep plugging this company, but with the uh, since we went to this uh, performance beef, man, it's it's been so nice for situations like this where we, we can see exactly what our feed's costing us every day. And it's, uh, 
we can we can have an updated break even every day on our calves and we can project where we need to be and look at local markets or uh, markets in other states and see if there's a, a nice little sweet spot for us to move these cattle and if there is then they can go and it, it's, it takes all the guesswork out of it honestly that's that's the best part about it so we're gonna have to add a little more to this trough but yeah it's we have some small calves in here that were uh, late late bloomers uh, then we have some monster calves that didn't fit anything else and then there's lots of just medium-sized calves just kind of runs the gamut in here. Then we have some calves from customers that aren't supposed to be in here, but have either the crawl through the fence or somebody has not paid attention and put them in here. That sometimes seems to be a common occurrence, but typically it's the, uh, it's the, they like to crawl through the fence still, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, we actually got to start sorting some of these out of here tomorrow to get rid of. But I think I think they're doing pretty good. So this is the other one of the pastures I'm feeding, or it's actually just our, the wheat circle. Um, I've got some little feed troughs here. There's the feed lot. These calves. We're out on this tree to kale, which was uh, really short when I first turned them out here. Uh, so we just been giving them a little supplemental feed along. Uh, they all got mixed up yesterday. Had a fence get torn down between the two circles. And so the small load of calves got mixed in with the big load of calves. And we had to resort everything. Uh, but that allowed me to check away these and these things are doing awesome out here. Uh, they're averaging three, 3.3 pounds a day. So I think that's, I figured, I figured uh, two pounds a day when I turned them out here. I didn't know how well they would do on the Trita Kale uh, with the, how it was. You know, we're, they're running out. Um, but they're supposed to go next month. They're supposed to go in 30 days. So he actually turned out. Uh, it turned out really well, actually. I'm, I'm very happy with where they were at. So just seeing uh, kind of what grazing on this and, and giving them a little supplemental feed would do. Um, because if I hadn't been supplementing, we would have been, they would have been out of feed and they would have come up light. So we're actually gonna back off the feed just a little bit. Uh, not too much, just because of, uh, we still do have 30 days before we can send them. So we just don't want them, uh, don't want them running out of, out of wheat out here. Because that, that would, that would make it kind of rough, because uh, then we'd have to we'd have to go onto full feed and, and just hold them where they're at. So it's kind of work. It worked out pretty good. I'm not I'm not upset by it at all. So definitely happy with what they're gaining. But uh, the other circle, we had a lot more feed on it. Uh, we planted it earlier, and we got a, a good snow, and it it really came on and produced a lot of feed. Uh, those calves that are there, we'll start supplementing them, uh, just so we know that they're going to hit their weight. But yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on. Uh, I've got a load of feed left to take to a set of cows that I'm going to get rid of this week. Uh, and other than that, I'll be done feeding for the day. So, and then then tomorrow I'll be. I'll have to take, uh, I'd take a load of feed to the cows out in the pastures three days a week. So that's really kind of what I've been using this tractor and wagon for. Uh, it's been working great for that. Uh, and it's just, uh, I'm having to 
uh, do a lot of travel. I'll figure out the mileage uh, for one of the videos and kind of when I do a, a video on it, I'll kind of let you know. It's I'm having to travel a long, long ways. Uh, Uh, I'll just have to figure it out. I know it's I know it's over 20 miles, so it's it's not the most efficient thing. But well, I kind of cover the prices on the feed right now, and we'll kind of go over that and uh, explain what what we're doing. So we'll catch you on the next one.